Preseason's underway. We're uh, three days into it. Uh, a lot of sore people. Um, initially for us is about gauging what they've done this summer and how they've prepared. Um, as a group, really pleased. Uh, there, there are some that are way off where they need to be, but from a majority uh, spectrum, very good. Very pleased. A lot of the freshmen really showed well. Uh, usually freshmen struggle the most in the fitness components. Um, in preseason and our freshmen as a group have done, done really well. So very pleased with that. Um, at this level, you know, college soccer, it's all about what you do over the summer because we get here and we play our first game in six days. And um, so it's a very quick turnaround. And so we, that's why the emphasis of, of fitness is so high. And as a group, they've really done their job this, this summer. So it's good. We can start focusing on the soccer parts and not the fitness part. We're starting out with like a 4v4 tournament. We're going to go every day. He like separated us into like six different groups and we're going to continue preseason having like a little tournament. Um, Wednesday night we started out doing Sevco and a bunch of people passed. It was like the best we've ever done. And then today it was like raining but we all did the YBMI which is like our hardest fitness test and a bunch of people passed. Like all the freshmen came in really strong. So we're doing really good so far. I think there's about eight of us who are graduating this year who will be our kind of our senior class. Um, right now we're kind of just trying to take it in stride. We're not trying to think about the senior year. There's not really, we're not trying to put any pressure on it because we're just trying to enjoy the last kind of go around we have at this. So just taking it kind of day by day, not thinking about it, not trying to make a countdown or anything like this, just enjoying the ride. I mean, the first two days are always kind of like the, the setting in period where everyone kind of gets used to Kaloui in the rain, of course, and like our new teammates. So it's been great. The freshmen have done a great job coming and getting used to all their responsibilities and the fitness tests. And I mean, the returners have done an amazing job too, kind of bringing them in and making them feel like family. So it's been it's been good. It's definitely the most veteran group we've had since Todd and I have been here. You know, this is our first. The seniors this year is our first recruiting class. So every person in the program is somebody that we've brought in. It makes a difference in terms of mentality because when you recruit, you talk a lot about who you want to be as a program, uh, how you want to represent. The university and our, so it's different and uh, this is the first year we've had that so most certainly a group that we feel like understands what is expected uh, a group that has been through uh, a lot of a lot of um, ups and downs you know we've, we've had our, our tough seasons and we've had some good good results along the way um, so that that's where the excitement comes from in terms of us as coaches because we feel like we got a good group that understands it and uh, so yeah yeah, that plays a big part of it, understanding it and kind of expectations are different than they were three years ago. Um, and we really want uh, this group of seniors to go out with a bang. It's something that's very important to us. I think we're kind of going back to our blue collar roots, just getting things done, treating it as, of course, as enjoying it, um, but making it business atmosphere so we kind of get our work done and win a championship hopefully at home. There's a business approach this year probably more than ever simply because of what we just talked about. Uh, the leadership of the group and the veterans. I mean, they know you don't have to teach them anymore step by step what's expected. They know. And so this preseason has been different than some of the ones in the past. We've really approached it from a business mentality. We're going to come out. We're going to get the job done. We're going to do exactly what we need to do to prepare and move on. Not a lot of talking. Not a lot of, um, you know, in the past we've had a lot of meetings, you know, where we're breaking down exactly what we want to have done. This year we're doing it on the field and just getting after it. So it's been a little bit of a different approach. I mean, at the end, it's pretty much all the same. It's just how you go about doing it uh, has been different. Um, so that's kind of the approach we've taken. I think we're really going to try for our exhibition games just to get a few minutes underneath our belts and get some people in, see how things work, try formations, um, and just see what kind of makes us successful. Yeah, we got a really big roster this year, you know, bigger than we have um, the past couple of seasons. And the exhibitions are really a chance where we can see some things that we may not be able to see in the regular season. I mean, when you get down to regular season, it's about results. And you, you, know, you, you have to do what you have to do to get results. And, and these exhibitions allow us to get some of the young players on the field. Um, gives them a chance to, to be in a game environment. And uh, Todd and I have talked a lot about it, and we thought two exhibitions would probably suit us best. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're playing. We, we simulated it like our, our game weekends, where you have two games in three days. And uh, we got two big South teams coming in. Um, next Wednesday, uh, Winthrop, 6 o'clock here, and then Friday, Asheville, uh, here, 7 o'clock. So it'll replicate a weekend for us and uh, be able to be an opportunity for us to get a lot of people in and see a lot of different things.